Since the last time uh, you saw the WRX, so we had added the titanium exhaust, we went to the track, we went 0.2 seconds faster on a hot day. There's more in it, but after that track day, I've been hearing some noises coming from, what uh, looks like the pinion side of the, of the diff. So we have this uh, noise coming from the rear diff. It sounds like, on our WRX here, Sounds like it's it's the, the pinion bearing that's making this noise. I have a limited slip diff, a plated limited slip diff to, to go in here and replace this uh, this Torsen style. Uh, but before that, I want to make sure that the noise is not something that's you know damage bearing or worn bearing. Uh, they are not commonly uh, a part that fails on these cars, but the good people at Dale's, which is. Uh, just down the street from us um they recommended their subaru experts and they recommended to throw in some of this uh lightweight shock proof in the diff see what comes out of there uh which we had i had red line in there to begin with but it wasn't this uh, this heavier stuff so throw this in see what comes out and see if we can quiet it down a little bit see what's uh what's going on if any any metal bits come out so let's have a look all right so let's see how this fluid is looking in here looking pretty clean no chunks of anything which is a good first step but maybe it was about time we changed it and there is a good amount of, um, of particles here on the on the drain plug this uh, this kind of uh, metallic sludge if you will that's magnetic there's been some wear in there in the diff. It's uh, probably not abnormal. Shockproof oil is in there, and now the noise seems a lot quieter. So if you guys have been watching this, uh, this build series on this car for Time Attack, uh, we've got another session coming up on Monday. So just in a couple of days. And one thing that's been kind of kind of frustrating is just the lash that we get in the drivetrain when you're when you're putting down the power in uh, in second gear of a corner, you just get this this grip slip grip slip kind of, and it feels that it's just a play in the in the drivetrain. So we're starting to replace more and more mounts. We already have the the parent transmission mount here, and uh, the next thing that we're gonna do. Uh, for this session is to replace these OEM motor mounts with a set of parent ones. You can see this one is still in there, but the, the motor is, is jacked up. This one's already removed. So uh, these are gonna be the change and uh, and we'll see if we can remove some of that drivetrain lash that's, that's just in those slow speed corners applying power uh, is still a little bit frustrating. So we made it out to another time attack session uh, in the WRX because that's what we're competing with in this series. And uh, the motor mounts are in, uh, they're working well. We'll see how they do out on track, but it's a beautiful day here at Mission Raceway Park. And uh, we're shooting to see if we can go below the 117 mark. We'll see how it goes. If it keeps cool in the morning, maybe we'll do it, get it done. So, good news, uh, managed a new personal best uh, in the WRX. Uh, it's shaved another 0.4 of a second. We're now 117.2 admission, which is pretty good. Uh, car's uh, holding up well to, uh, to the track abuse. And um, it's, uh, it's a bit of driver mod that's needed to go a little bit faster. And I've got some, uh, some new things to put in the car. A plated limited slip diff for the rear, and uh, also the um, I've got a couple of reinforced braces uh, just, just to hold that differential a little bit steadier to when I come on the power for it to, uh, to come on a little bit more progressively uh, and not have that slip grip situation.
back from the track uh, with our WRX. Uh, this is uh, now been, I think, our, our third or fourth time attack session. So every time we try to, to do something to the car to improve it, uh, make it go faster, and uh, every time it has uh, been successful. So quick check of the brakes. Uh, HP Plus pads are, are holding up for three or four laps on a pretty uh, brake sensitive uh, brake sensitive track or brake intensive track. You can start to see that the rotor is cracking a little bit, but nothing bad. These are OEM rotors. Uh, the big thing that we changed for this time attack session um, is that we did uh, the parent motor mounts. So you can kind of see them right in there. Um, so they helped with the back and forth motion. So you can see that the other motor mount is right there. So we're getting a lot of lash in the drivetrain and, and as you're loading it up out of second gear corners, it was just binding and releasing, binding and releasing, and it was not a very comfortable feeling. Uh, and with these uh, motor mounts, it really helped that situation. So I'm very happy and super rewarding to <clears throat> put on a part and then take the car out on track and really see whether or not that part makes any difference. And in this case, it, it did and helped us uh, shave uh, 0.4 uh, seconds from our uh, personal best, previous personal best. So we're now second in the championship, just second to a Honda Civic Type R that is pretty quick, but we are definitely uh, the quickest VA out there uh, on track. So it, it's, it's really helped out and uh, we'll continue uh, pushing it and adding parts and keeping you guys uh, as part of the ride to see what there are things and what things work and don't work.